This steering cable is really stiff in this Malibu wake setter. I'm going to show you how to replace the steering cable in this boat. This is a 2005 Malibu wake setter VLX. You need to start by checking to make sure that the cable is actually the problem. You need to get in the back hatch. This is where the steering cable connects to the rudder. You remove these side panels to give you great access to the cable and rudder connection. Now disconnect the cable from the rudder, a 9 16th socket on the top and a crescent wrench or a 9 16th box end wrench on the bottom. We used a couple extensions and a swivel to make it easier to get to the bolt. Now see how easy this spun? And see how the steering is still stiff? Definitely a steering cable problem. The cable runs through this hole and along the stringer to the front of the boat. No need to remove the floor for the steering cable. To get access to the steering cable underneath the steering wheel, you need to remove the kick panel. This one seemed to be different than the stock kick panel. I ended up removing the sub and then sticking my head up where the sub was to unattach everything. There were a couple of L brackets that held everything together. I was able to fit my impact up through the sub hole and unattach everything. I then removed this side panel and removed the kick panel itself. Now you have access to the steering cable. You can undo these four bolts and it will drop down. If you're getting value from this video, please subscribe. The cable back by the rudder now needs to be prepped to pull through. This machine piece needs to be removed. We used an extension again to help reach it and a 9 16th socket. Loosen this nut and pull the cable through the tilt tube and tie your rope to the end of the cable. Tying a rope to the end of the cable will allow you to pull the new cable back through the same location as the old one. Just make sure the rope is more than, say, 25 feet. When you are ready, begin pulling the cable out from underneath the steering wheel. Make sure that your rope is feeding in along with the cable. It helps if you have a second set of hands to make sure everything goes smoothly. Once the cable's pulled all the way through, untie the rope. After we got the cable out, we compared the new one and the old one. It looks like somebody installed a bigger cable previously in this boat. This cable will still work. Tie the rope onto the new cable and begin feeding the cable down through the floor by the steering wheel. Continue to feed the cable down through the floor while pulling the string from the rear. It really helps to have a second set of hands. Once the cable is in the engine compartment, untie the rope. Lube the new cable, the metal portion that goes in the tilt tube. Now put the cable through the tilt tube. Tighten the nut down. This nut locks the cable in place. This piece is used to attach the steering cable to the rudder arm. It goes nut, steering cable, rudder arm, then another nut. Attach it to the steering cable. Now attach it to the rudder arm. Make sure everything is lubed and snugged tight. Just like with disassembling, use an extension to make it easier on yourself. With the cable attached to the rudder, go and turn the rudder until it's straight. Get the steering wheel straight also. Now attach the steering cable underneath the dash without letting the cable move or without letting the steering wheel turn. Make sure that the teeth mesh and tighten these four bolts down. Mmm, smooth like butter. Now you probably want to get out on the water and teach some people how to wake surf. I made this video just for you. Click on it and watch it. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.